Hello, this is my Celia Zidi, and today I'm gonna do for you a tutorial about how to use the Brazer eyepiece camera in board SSVE telescope or Brazer telescopes. So the eyepiece camera is uh, called micro ocular full HD camera in which it could be used for a microscope or for a telescope and inside this box you will find a small CD in which you should install in your PC to let you take image and also process your image for night sky observation. So to have image through this eyepiece camera, there are three steps to follow. The first step is to download the software or to install the software from this CD in your PC because the software will let you take image through your PC. The second step is to put your camera in the telescope or to set up your your camera inside the telescope and the third step is to open the software and start taking image so I'm gonna show you step by step in this video how to install the software how to set up the camera and the last step gonna be how to take image and how to process your Im image playing around with the different parameter install it in the software so in the browser micro ocular full HD camera box when you found it you're gonna have first the CD it's gonna be in the top here and then if you open a little bit the box you're gonna have the cable of connection so you're gonna use this cable to connect the camera to your PC because this is the cable of connection to connect the camera to the PC and then we do have the camera, be careful about that because it's CMOS camera, you see it's very thin and small camera, so be careful about the camera because they are really fragile and they are very sensitive, so when you handle it, handle it with care, so that's the camera. And then you're gonna have three adapter. so that's the first one and here is written all the parameter for example this adapter it has 75 millimeter and then the other one it have um, 30 millimeter and then the third one it have it have five millimeter so why we do have three adapter because it's depend to your telescope it depends to the ocular adaptator that you do have so that's why you have three and you should use one one of them so you should try the three of them and check which one work with your uh, telescopes so we're going to take this cd and see how to install the software in our pc So now I'm gonna show you how to set up your camera and board your telescope. So as you can see, I kept the port ocular part. So I'm gonna show it here. So that's the port ocular part. I didn't put the camera directly here because if I'm gonna put it here, it's gonna immediately fall down. So that's why I kept the port ocular part so it can support the camera to don't fall down. So I'm gonna put my camera here, but first I should check which one I'm gonna use according to my telescope size. So first of all, I'm gonna try the five millimeter and I'm gonna say, yeah, it's a bit small. So let's try the other one, which is 75 millimeter. It's very small, just went inside. <laughs> So let's try the last one, which 
is 30 millimeter. I think this one gonna work. Perfect. So the one that worked with me, it's 30 millimeter. So as you can see here, so I didn't go inside. So 30 millimeter is, is the perfect for me. So now I'm gonna show you the camera and the connection cable. So here's the camera. So I'm gonna take it off from the bag. And then you can see that they are placed for the connection cable. So that's the camera, which is CMOS. So that's the characteristic of the camera. So and you can see here is the place reserved for the connection cable. And this is here where they are this cover is the cover th so for the CCD detector. In this case, you should be super careful about the dust because if the dust will go inside this part, it's not something very good. It's gonna affect your equipment and also it's gonna affect your image. So I suggest that that's the last thing to take it off because we want to have dust inside. So now I'm gonna bring the connection cable and I'm gonna install it in, in my camera. So here I do have the connection cable as you can see and I'm gonna put it inside the camera. So in this way, up. So that's the connection cable. And then slowly I'm gonna take this cover off and I should be super careful about the dust. So as you can see here, that's the CMOS detector. That's my camera. So I should be super careful. And then, and put it inside the support up. So you see it's not fixed and that's why we use the port ocular one. Because imagine without art ocular, it's gonna be like that and it's gonna fall down. So the use of port ocular is important to keep the camera inside. So then the other part of the cable, so that's my camera. And then the other part of the cable, which is this one, I'm gonna put it inside my PC here, just next to me. So I'm gonna put the PC here. I'm gonna put the USB cable. And I can see when I put the USB cable, the software I already detected the camera. And then as you can see here, when I put my camera and the telescope and, uh, and connect the USB detector to my PC, then the software can detect the camera. So we can see here, micro ocular full HD connected to the software. So when I click on it, so here is my camera. Unfortunately, we cannot see anything here. And this is the live image. So since I'm not outside, I'm in my room. So that's the view from my room, but for the night sky, you can see the moon or you can see other objects. So that's the reflect that the camera is working perfectly because I'm just in my room, I'm not outside. So then afterward, we can see here different parameter like the saturation, the brightness, the contrast and the gamma, which is parameter affect a lot your image. For example, the saturation is the saturation of the image. If you want it higher or low, we can see the color difference. And then the brightness, less bright or much more dark or much more bright and white. Then the contrast to, contrast to see much more detail, for example, in the surface of the moon and then your gamma. So you can play around with this parameter because it depends to um, your picture and it depends also to what uh, what color suits you the most, uh, the best for, for your image. So you can try to play around with this parameter and experience how, how it looks like with higher saturation, uh, a low saturation, higher brightness and higher contrast, less contrast. Just experience this uh, parameter and try, try to to um, discover many things. So in this software, the CAM Lab Light, you can 
take pictures and also you can record live videos in your PC. So for example, if I want to take a picture, I'm going to put snap. Snap this mean picture and I can see here that I have a window pump up here called one. So I'm going to, if I can I click on it, I'm going to see the picture that was taken. This is my first picture. So for example, and then if I go here, video uh, micro ocular full HD, I'm going to go back to the main view or the main window. If I want to make record, so here we can see also the live, you can see the different size that you want for your picture. 1920 per 1080 and many other dimension for the image. So this is the, the, the image dimension that you want. And then for the record of the video, you can click in record. And then it's going to show up uh, a window and in which we have here a red spot. That's mean that the software is recording from your camera. For example, if you are recording the moon, you're going to see here in the main window where they are the narrow, a live view of the moon. So now the video is recording and then I'm going to stop record on. So it's going to turn uh, blue again. So the question is how or where I will find my record. So it's very easy. You go there to options and then you're going to see here record. So you're going to, for example, call it video one, video one. That's going to be your first video record. And then you're going to choose where you're going to uh, record it. For example, for me, I'm going to record in the C2 point user intent videos, or I can change the direction. For example, I can choose another file for recording. For example, I can record in the desktop. So I want the video afterward will be, the video record will be in the desktop directly. So then you can put a file and you can save all your videos and pictures in that directory, like desktop or just you put any file name that you want. And then you can also have here open if you're going to open some image and try to process them with throw this software. And then you can have as well the uh, the quick save is just to uh, save picture with uh, quickly without any uh, uh, any like uh, processing. And then you have here much more advanced parameter for, for the video record, like color adjustment and, and things. So here is, for example, if you have another camera, it will show up here another camera. But as a state of now, we have one single individual camera, which is the micro ocular full HD. In case you have two, it's gonna show up here two image. So that's the software Cam Lab Light, which is linked to this uh, eyepiece browser camera. And for example, here I'm, I'm playing around with the camera so you can see the difference of colors in, in the main window or the main space of the software. So I'm turning around here the camera in my room so you can see that it's just um, uh, working and there are no problem. So that's the last step of this tutorial. And before ending my video, I will show with you some picture of the moon that I took with this camera through Brazer eyepiece camera, full, micro ocular full HD, and also the SSVE telescope. So I'm gonna show with you uh, some videos and also some picture of that. So this is a video of the moon that was recorded by the micro ocular full HD camera in which we can see the surface of the moon with much more detail like a crater, terrains, uh, smooth terrains, crater terrains, crater ejecta and many other things. So this was taken from Padova in Italy and it's a video show much more features in the surface of the moon. So that was with my small telescope in addition to the micro uh, ocular full HD camera, the one that I showed for you in the video.
So this is the story for today. I hope it was understandable and clear and it helped you to know how to use the Brazer eyepiece micro ocular full HD camera. So in this frame I would like to thank the SSBE for all the telescope because they sent me this camera as a gift. And also I would like to thank my friend Jean-Pierre for all his support and for his help for amateur astronomers around the world. So I hope this video is helpful for everyone and see you the next time.